if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Seriously, you have to make out with them. Just kidding, I'm not, I'm not that cool. Mmm, what is this? Today's video! My mom has impounded a lot of things in me, and one of them that turned out to be true is what you like in a person at 20, you're not gonna like when you're 25, and what you like in a person at 25, you're not gonna like at 30. It's very true. Now, at 20, I was almost positive that I was gonna marry a guy whose wardrobe only consisted of plaid shorts, polo shirts, and flip flops. No. Oh. Mm -mm. I'm gonna be 31 this month, and honestly, I'm completely okay, basically, mostly for the most part, being single. I like being able to do me. What I don't want, I don't ever want to base my self-worth on me having a boyfriend or not, because, let's be real, it's 2015, and I don't even have any self-worth whatsoever. But my biggest demographic is actually guys ages 18 to 44. Online dating is a very popular thing. I'm not on like Tinder or eHarmony or OkCupid. You know, I'm not against it. That's just my issue. I come off much more confident and much less awkward when you can't see my face or hear words that are coming out of my mouth. So let's see if here on my channel, I can find a boyfriend by telling you right off the bat what you would be getting yourself into and are you willing to fall in love with me? Number 12, I need you to be okay with my personal hygiene. We are in a drought here in California, so I'm doing my part by not showering. Please accept that. Number 33, I like my alone time. I grew up as an only child, so I had a lot of it. That's not sad. Some of my favorite memories were me building a huge fort in my rec room and just staying in it for days. And then if it was summertime, building that fort in our patio and camping. It's still not sad. So as my boyfriend, I would need you to be prepared for me to say either A, hey, I'm gonna go hang in my fort by myself. I'll see you in a couple days. Or B, hey, why don't you come and hang in my fort for a couple days and we can like Netflix and chill. Number 29, speaking of Netflix and chill, there's only one other situation in where I will Netflix and chill. And that situation is when Netflix isn't on. When I sign into Netflix, I sign in with purpose. I can't get busy when, spoiler alert, Buffy is about to put a sword through Angel and send him to hell even after Willow restored his soul. I will Ulu and kick it with you though. I can dig that. And I would watch porn and have sex with you too. That's not, you know, we're not gonna. Number nine, once in a great while, I like to listen to Rockstar by Nickelback. I need you to be okay with that. Where can Nickelback go wrong? I just, I don't understand. Why do we hate that? Number 75, I rarely order salads. If you're gonna order a cheeseburger, I'm gonna see your cheeseburger and raise you a double cheeseburger with twice mashed potatoes on the side. I probably won't be able to eat it all, but for all intents and purposes, I plan to. Also, I dip my fries and mayonnaise, so you have to deal with that. Number 15, I need you to be funny. Like, possibly funnier than me, not less funny than me, yet not the same level of funny as me. And I would like it that you would sometimes get my subtle humor that I feel like some people don't get sometimes. If we get super close and I start to feel safe with you, like safe, like safe emotionally, not like, <sighs> he's not gonna rape me safe, like emotionally safe. I will make gruesome murder jokes. I will make jokes about pedophilia. I will make jokes about the KKK. Like I've been in the KKK since I was four years old. And if you're in the KKK and you're watching this, I can change you. Number 37, I snore. You have to be okay with that. We can figure a way around that, work that out. I have Ambien, I have Lunesta, I have alcohol. Speaking of alcohol, number 87, I like to drink. Every day, in fact. Well, not so much this month. This month, we're kind of taking a break because it's not me, that I, it's my body. It's my body, it seems that it's rejecting alcohol when I put it in there. I don't know what that is. I'm not an alcoholic. That's what alcoholics say, but I would just like it if you were a fan of drinking. Or at least a fan of watching me drink. Number 10, my opinions. My opinions change and I need you to be okay with that. On our first date, I can't give you a definite answer if I want to get married or I want to have children. It changes day to day. I don't want you to be freaked out on our first date when I tell you that I froze my ex. And I don't want you to be weirded out on our second date when I tell you I don't like my eggs cold and I changed my mind, so I actually scrambled them for breakfast and ate them. Actually, not scrambled, over easy. Over easy is my favorite type. Number four, I queef, but I don't fart. Number 44, I get obsessive. Not about, well, sometimes about people, but not really. Um, I get super, super obsessed in a very healthy way about like things, like mainly like TV shows and music. I have periods of between like three to four weeks where like 
I'll watch the same thing over and over again. Like right now, it's the facts of life. I can't go to sleep at night without falling asleep to it and at least watching a couple of the episodes because if I do, then it just ruins everything and I, I, I feel like incomplete. And I, it seemed like a tiny form of OCD. Wow. Uh, finally, number 100. I just need you to be a genuinely nice guy. I need you to be kind to people. I need you to not be rude to strangers. Friends have at them. That's why people have friends. You have friends so you can tear them down. So there you have it. If you're cool with these wants and needs, I think we would make a great couple. If you watch this and you don't think we're compatible, please don't unsubscribe. We can still be good friends from afar. I'll text you. I'm just kidding. Best friends. Boom! If you're not subscribed and you watch this, please subscribe because like reason number nine, my opinions can change. Maybe one day I will actually Netflix and chill while watching Netflix. I don't know. Don't you want to tune in and find out? Also, I would like it if you own a pair of chucks. Uh, you have dark hair, dark brows, kind of thick. If you have some stubble, that'd be great. I like that. If you wear quirky sweaters, wonderful. If you like reading memoirs and taking the character of the person you're reading about, it's splendid. I do that too. Nikki Six's heroin diaries was a tough one for me to get through. If you're Jewish, all I said before is all null and void. I will do whatever you want me. I will conform to you and Judaism.